Hello, this is H.E. Baby, and welcome back to Let's Play Sim City. Let's develop some more sea taps in the southeast quadrant of Freedom City. Okay, so last time, the problem I was having was that my sea top was forming improperly here. Uh, the reason for that is if you have a C5 high zone with the option to merge with another one to the right or below it, it'll always prioritize merging with the one on the right. So what I want to do is cut off transportation to the one on the right, but not the one below. So I'm going to have to put another rail over here, but that'll be fine. And then wait for the C5 on the right to regress a couple levels. I want to wait for it to get down to C3 before replacing the rail there. Because if it's a C4, it could upgrade to a C5. And then once I destroy the rail again to get it to degrade, it could still merge with the C5 on the left before the game checks. Hey, you don't have transit here. You're not supposed to be developing at this point. So we'll just leave it like this for now and see how long it takes to get, well, the left C top to happen there. And by the way, with the residential zone there, that will develop once I get more population density in the area. So I'm fine just leaving that alone for now. At this point, with such a huge population, we have a lot of leeway with the number of zones that I want at a time. But, all right! Okay, so we got another C top going there. Now, in the next column, I actually want to develop three. Three C tops! Ah, ah, ah. But I only want to do one at a time here. Or, I mean, the first one alone, and then we'll do the other two. So, let's get... Yeah, right there. Get those placed there. Let's see how much we'll need for the other zone types. Okay, so, with only one C top, I'm going to need five residential and three more industrial. Though, I think I might want a little more on the industrial, because I'm about to... I probably will need to develop or destroy one of the industrial zones here so I have enough room for all the parks that I want. But, uh, okay, so we got that going. I don't think there's really much else I can do. Although, now that I look at it, how about we get rid of some of these excess rails that we don't need any longer. And then, okay, so let's see what we got with the residential zones. Now that we've gotten some of the sea tops to develop over here, I can put some more residential zones in the area. So let's put a few there, a couple there, and let's see. That should work with all the valid destinations I've got there. Yeah, that ought to be fine there. Let's see, with this one, so if they go like that, I think they'd still be okay. So, yeah, that looks good. Okay, so let's get the 4x4 regions set up for these commercial zones first. Okay, so with this one... Yeah, I'm going to have to destroy one. So I'm going to build four industrial zones. But yeah, with the 4x4 regions that we've got here, here's the home region for the lower one and the one for the upper one. So, above or below, to the right, we've already got all of that figured out. Yeah, I don't need to worry about the rails or anything over there. So, let's get a little more. Let's see, I think that should be good enough there. And just get a couple more 4x4s over here. And then, as far as the transit goes over here... See, I think I just want to put a couple on the right there. I want to put one here, and then one down below. I could have put them right next to each other, but if I did that, then, yeah, the one in the middle there, where there's, a, like, a little flower or something going on, uh, that would be part of this 4x4 region, which could hurt the land value of the upper one, which is the one that I actually care about. As far as, uh, yeah, developing a C-top. 
Okay, and that also makes it very easy to get some power over here. Okay, and then, yeah, four industrial zones, and that should be good. Yeah, now that I've got sea tops over here, I can afford to put some industrial zones over here, though I want to watch out for the crime in the area. So I'll take a look at that, well, next year. And then I think we're good to go. Just keep an eye on the residential zones for any schools or hospitals that try to sneak up on me. Well, so far so good. And I'm not worried about the industrial zone development or anything. Okay, we're good up there. Just keep an eye down here. One left. Then I can focus my attention on the commercial zones. Industrial zones kind of do their own thing all the time. They'll develop whenever they feel like it. You know, I should double check the power distribution just in case. Okay. Yeah, we ought to be good there. How's crime looking? Perfect. I mean, at least for the commercial zones. Though, once these ones develop, industrial zones, that would probably increase crime in the area. I always thought as a kid, whenever, like, you would see more crime in industrial zones, I always thought it was because they... You know, you got heavy machinery, probably very expensive machinery, that people would want to steal. But, uh, no, nope, no, nope, it doesn't work so directly like that. It's just pollution and land value, and, well, as a kid, I did not know that land value existed in the game. I never really paid much attention to the maps or the charts that they got all around here. But yeah, nice thing about getting the left sea top to form first, I can just move right on to the next column without a problem. So the next commercial zones that I want to develop are going to be over here. And that would interfere with the land value of this one a little bit. So I want to try and finish this one first before doing that. I could develop all three C-tops at once as we fast forward until something gets done around here. But yeah, developing this C-top would be possible but more difficult if I have the other two at the same time. I'd have to probably build some more industrial zones in this quadrant in order to pull the center over here and increase the land value enough to be able to develop that seed tap. But it can be done. But we'll take it one step at a time, I think. Uh, let's see. Well, at least we're developing best level one on those residential zones. Once you get level, get past level one, it seems like residential zones can develop more quickly. Oh, is the left one going to finish before the right one? <laughs> well, we'll see. Now, at this point, with all the money I'm accumulating, I do want to hold on to that as much as I can. Because once I'm done developing all the sea tops in the southeast quadrant, then I'm just going to splurge on filling out the entire rest of the map with police departments or not not just police departments uh, residential zones and industrial zones commercial zones will be completely done by that point i am a little surprised that this is developing a bit slowly here well so far so good i'll leave it alone for now but maybe as the pollution... Well, no, the pollution is as high as it's going to get right now. I was thinking maybe more pollution would develop, but, uh... Nope, nope. Industrial zones, once they get up to level 1, they produce the same pollution as every other level, even level 4. Even though it looks like an I-4 zone would 
contribute more pollution, it actually doesn't, oddly enough. Oh man, am I actually gonna finish the left one first? Nope! We're good. Although I do want to finish this one, since we're close enough, so why don't we leave that alone and try and finish some things around here. Okay, so now that we got that one out of the way, let's get that. I think I'm just going to leave, well, most of the stuff alone. If I go here, yeah, that won't create a problem. It won't interfere with any of the, the relevant 4x4 regions. Okay, so from here, yeah, I can get rid of those rails on the right, and I've got new power from the previous column, so yeah, we'll still be good over here, but uh, otherwise I think we're, we're good to go. Let's at least wait until next year. Maybe I could build the more distant sea uh, top. But we're so close to finishing this one. Well, we'll see. Let's uh, see what we've got here then. Okay, so yeah, everything here is still, still all good. Although over here, it is getting a little higher. How about we do this? Yeah, let me pause for this one. And destroy excess rails that we don't need anymore. Okay, nothing hiding there. Okay, then get rid of that one. Please there. That ought to be good enough for now. But, uh, yeah, let's take it slow to get the power distribution to catch up with us. But otherwise, I think we're good here. Oh, we almost got the sea tap already. Very nice. get that out of the way and then yeah I'm gonna have to destroy a lot of these industrial zones probably eight of them maybe seven we'll see how the four by four regions work over there as we get another sea top all right yeah now these things are uh, forming much more quickly okay so at this point let's see what the numbers say to do I want to get up to a hundred commercial zones. So let's see, for residential, let's see, I want to go with nine more of those. And then with industrial, seven more of those. Not including the ones that I'm going to be destroying in a moment. So let's see, let's go like this okay so seven okay so 14 industrial or er, yeah 14 industrial zones and then yeah there's four straight like that let's get our rails figured out let's see if I go here that should be good and then if I go here that'll stay out of the home 4x4 region of that commercial zone and then let's see one over here that ought to be good let's get the parks and the rails out of the way okay so actually why don't we get the residential zones first and then I'll figure all this out okay so I needed nine more of these so let's see what we've got room or where we've got room okay so we already filled out this one I could put another one here and that would not be a problem so yeah why don't we just go with one there and then I don't think I want to build any more closer to the commercial zones so see I could probably remove put some here because this 4x4 region doesn't matter anymore but valid destinations would be pretty difficult to get to work around there so I'm just gonna leave that alone I don't want to screw around with any of that so for now 
Let's go like this. Create a valid destination for this residential zone. Get these out of the way. And then this one can go over here or up to get to their valid destination. Okay, then I want to have four more in the last column that I'm going to be developing. Okay, so let's go over here. Get that set up. Some backups. And that'll be good. Okay, so nine of those. Okay, good. Now let's see what we can do with these. The relevant 4x4 four four regions are, yeah, we've got two and one, but we've got eight tiles of park, so that'll really help that one out a lot. And this one will have that. And that one will have that. Okay, so let's get the home regions first. Then, let's see, I need a little more help down here. Okay, yeah, we're getting pretty close to, well, the end of this quadrant, at least. Okay, so if I go like that, and then, yeah, just fill in everything in between, that'll be good enough. Okay, then, yeah, let's get a little more around there. And I think we're good. Let's see, over here... Yeah, I don't need to worry about the the rails on the right there. So, yeah, let's get that going. And reconnect power. Yep, I think we're good to go there. Okay, now we need 14 industrial zones. Holy cow! Let me see where I'm going to have some police departments so I don't build stuff over it. Okay, so we're not... Yeah, we're not over here yet. So let's see, I can put one here eventually. I could put one there right now if I really wanted to. Yeah, why don't we... Okay, then we got that one there. And I think that's it. For now, at least. Oh, you know, I think there's one that I built over. Let me see. Yeah, right here. That's supposed to be a police department. Whoops. Okay, so now let's try to well, get as many in as I can. I need 15 now. Five, nine, twelve, so three more, hmm, I don't think I can do any more here, okay, well we can go up here, try to drag the center of the city a little more to the east that way. Okay, so we got all that. I think we're good to go. But, yeah, let me uh, double check the power grid in a moment. Just in case I forgot to reconnect something I destroyed. Okay, so down here... Yeah, I can't really build any more police departments in the area. Not yet. So I think I'm just going to leave that alone. Yeah, I'll deal with that later. Oh, also the power grid. There we go. Alright. Yeah, sometimes I forget to power these ones on. Whoops. But not today. Alright, let's keep going there. Eight out of nine residential zones say no to schools and hospitals. Good thing I had that backup power line. 
when you need it and don't have it, you sing a different tune. Okay, so we got all the residentials going there. Plenty of transportation. Another thing you could do is put power through here, since we got the rail there anyway. But that's not necessary because I got the sea tops to develop the way I wanted. Hopefully the middle two decide not to fuse together as I fast forward to get the ball rolling there. But yeah, these ones are pretty easy to develop. As far as, like, land value and the amount of parks in the home 4x4 regions, that really helps out a lot. Though, I really don't take that into account when I'm developing a city. Or, like, I'm planning a city. I mostly just take land value overall into account. So I know, like, okay, in the corners, yeah, you're not going to want to have residential or commercial zones there. They will never develop without an obscene amount of optimization beyond, well beyond, what I am willing to do. So yeah, if I put a residential zone here, or in here, like I was thinking about doing, but I'll wait in, on that until later... I don't think I could get a valid destination for everything without uh, getting into the 4x4 regions of the commercial zones. So, like, I could get the rail up to here, but I couldn't go down into the left or down into the right very easily. I could maybe get a rail to go over. I could go here without a problem. Or, well, over here. But then you'd still have a dead end. There's probably a way to do it that I'm not thinking about at the moment. Well, at least all the residential zones developed quickly. Suspiciously quickly, actually. Hmm. Okay, anything going on with crime this year? Or anything new? Nope, we're good. New police departments help out a lot. But yeah, eventually I can put a another police department right there to deal with any, any other problems. But yeah, so like the crime down here eventually will just go away because I'm going to destroy more of the industrial zones. Let me double check the numbers. Make sure I balanced everything correctly. Yep, that's exactly what I want. Very good. Uh-oh. Don't merge the middle two. Although this one would be relatively easier since I have four separate rails touching them, none of which are in the home 4x4 regions. It's so like, this is what I was thinking of doing up here, but that makes it a little more difficult to get the seat top to actually happen. Let's see, what level is that residential zone? Hmm. Probably not enough population density for it to develop further. Eventually, I will put more residential zones here. Just not right away. I would have probably preferred to have the bottom two develop first. But I suppose it doesn't especially matter as long as it's not the middle two that are developing. So, like, if these two merge together, I would have to destroy the upper rail because this would be the upper half of the seat top and I would have to destroy the bottom one so that way the bottom one doesn't 
try to level up again. And cliffhanging me on the C-top development for the year. Okay, let's be a little careful here. Get that. And just wait for the other one to regress to a C3. There we go. I'm almost surprised that worked so perfectly. Because... Uh, what is it? I have it on the fastest speed. The game doesn't update things as frequently in the game time, that is. When you're on the faster speed. But I have patience problems. And we got a C to op. Awesome. Okay, so the next ones that I would develop would be right here. But I need this one to finish up. So we'll wait on that. Let's see, I could probably... Let me see where the 4x4s are. Okay, so... Yeah, I could have these go down here. But, let me see how far that would take us. Yeah, the ones up here would never make it all the way down here. It's just a little bit too far away. So, eventually I will extend rails over there, but for now, I'll just leave it alone. Just wait for the last T-Tap to get going. Then we'll be good. So yeah, this one, the next one is going to be, I think it's fairly easy to do. Where I'll go like that. So I'll have one horizontal, one vertical, C-top. And I'll also want to develop one commercial zone down here in advance. Just like I did with this C-top. Develop the bottom first then the top part to help with the land value shenanigans and that'll be all the C tops after this so we got two here two more here and then everything else will just fall into place yeah I'll wait until next year I was gonna check the crime but no point in building a police department in the middle of the year, or towards the end, really. Got a nice treasury ready to go in event of emergency or building up the entire city. Yeah, when I was practicing earlier, uh, Bowser actually attacked the city because of all the pollution that I've got. Yeah, well, I mean, there's really no avoiding it. Just because of the way land value works. I mean, what else am I going to do with the corner spaces? I hope we're not stuck here. Just because it's been sitting there for a little while. Hmm. Well, let me double check the land value. Okay, so... Oh, okay, uh... I knew that was about to happen. All right, got it. Okay, so let's see what else we got going on around here. Okay, so yeah, how about we remove that, that should be fine. Get a police department ready to go. And let's see, I think that's everything I want to do over here. Can we develop the final sea tops in Freedom City? Find out next time on Let's Play Sim City. This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.